All right, so in this example, again, we got to make sure we separate our variables. And again, we can only separate our variables by multiplication and division. We're not doing anything with addition or subtraction. But fortunately, we can just multiply um, our dx and our 4y, or and divide by our 4y on both sides. So we have dy over 4 minus y equals dx. Integrate both sides. You guys notice here we have a small little u substitution, right? You could kind of say here that u is equal to 4 minus y. du is equal to uh, negative dx, right? So we enter, so we're basically going to be integrating 1 over u, integrate dx. So therefore, I'm going to multiply that um, by the negative. So therefore, I have a negative ln of absolute value of u, or 4 minus y equals x plus c. So particular or general solution, this is exactly where you'd want to. You guys should at least be able to get to this point. This is all stuff we've done. This is where now it kind of enters into a, an arena where we need to figure out and remember some things from our exponential. And I understand that some of you um, probably don't remember, which I'll maybe spend a, a quick little second after this once you've uh, gone through your news feed on Instagram or Facebook and are ready for this. So if we want to, or Twitter, you know, I don't know, it's Twitter still, it's kind of declining, but it's, um, no, you're still, well, well, Facebook's not declining in the younger market, but it's kind of increasing in the older market. It's still very. MySpace for I still have my MySpace profile. I should probably go back on and log in. Um, so we need to get rid of this logarithm. Would you guys agree? If we want to solve for y, it's inside of a logarithm. Mm -hmm. Lauren, that would cause a problem for you, right? Good. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to raise. Uh, let's get rid of the negative first. So I have ln of absolute value of 4y equals negative x minus c. Now, I need to get rid of the ln. And what we can do to get rid of the ln is do a base e, or raise everything, or e, raise it up to the, um, have everything, take a base e and have everything raised from the e power. So therefore, what that does is that gets rid of our ln. Then we're left with the absolute value of 4 minus y is equal to e to the negative x minus c. Oh, I guess that, yeah, I'm sorry. The c doesn't really matter because it's still, it doesn't matter if you divide by this. We're just going to keep this as a positive. Because, guys, again, c is just representing a number. It doesn't matter if it's positive, negative, whatever. Now, a quick little side note. If you guys remember this, x cubed times x squared is equal to x to the, x to the 3 plus 2, which is equal to x to the fifth. Would you guys agree, right? <laughs> What I'm doing is I'm just reminding you, I want you guys to understand that if I have e to the negative x plus e to the c, that is really the same thing as me saying e to the third times e squared. Would you guys agree with me? Right? So I can rewrite this as absolute value of 4 minus y times, I could do this as e to the negative x times e to the c, which again, e is a number. Raised to another power, raised to another number, is still just a number. number. So 4 minus y equals c e to the negative x. It's still just a number. Yes? OK, so we distributed, well, we didn't distribute, but we took the negative 4 and put it on the other side. Can we do that with any constant that's in front of the y? Yeah, yeah, because you want to isolate the absolute value. Because if you guys remember in algebra 2, when we solve absolute value functions, we have to create two cases. We have to create the positive case and the negative case. So we can say 4 minus y is equal to c e to the negative x. And that's the positive. And then you create the negative, which is 4 minus y equals negative c e to the negative x. So you have to do the positive and the negative case for absolute value. Right? Remember solving absolute value equations, algebra 2. Um, so now we can just go ahead and solve for this. And what you guys have is we have two cases. We have y equals um, 4 minus c e to the negative x. And we have y equals 4 plus c e, e to the negative x. 
Again, again, this is a general solution, guys, so we're not gonna have we're gonna have C in our answer.